Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the one dimensional array and two dimensional arrays and uh, today's concept is functions, a very simple and important concept that is uh, functions. The major advantages of using these functions is in order to reduce the complexity reduce the complexity so we can divide the program into different functions and then the major thing is to achieve the reusability to achieve the reusability that means we can write the code once and we can uh, implement that same co code multiple times when it is required right so this is the major advantages of using functions and coming to the syntax, syntax. So in the syntax, we have to follow the four things. That is, the first one is return type, followed by the function name, followed by the arguments or parameters. We can call it anything. function one. right so this is a syntax for uh, these functions return type function name arguments and the function body so return type coming to this return type it is any fundamental data type so it can be any fundamental data type that this function should return so if it is an integer function if sorry if the function returns an integer value this return type should be an integer if this function returns a float value this return type should be a float if this function returns an character value so it should be a character and if if this function doesn't return anything it should be a void but there should be a return type there should be a return type and if you are not mentioning any return type, by default, the compiler will treat it as an integer return type. So, then this function name, this function name is nothing but an identifier. So, that is a user defined function. So, we have to give a name for this function. So, we have to follow the rules of an identifier while giving a name. So, we can give any name in this function. And this is the arguments which are passed as an inputs to this function. These are nothing but arguments or parameters, right? So if this function uh, takes uh, two inputs, here we have to pass the two parameters, right? So this is also an optional thing. So we will see the categories of functions in the next session. So arguments or the parameters. And this is the function body actual logic we have to write in this function body. So what statements to be implemented while calling this function? Those statements should be written in this function body. Right? So this is all about the syntax of uh, functions. Now, while implementing this function in main function in our C++, C++ program, so we have to follow the three things. One is the function declaration. So we have seen the variables, different variables in C++. So we know that rule that is uh, the variables should be declared before they are going to be used in our program. Similarly, the functions also to be declared before using that functions. So function declaration is the first thing. Next, function call. So one more important concept of uh, uh, these functions is this is a block of code which will be executed only after the explicit call. <coughs> so 
So unless you explicit, uh, explicitly call this function, this block of code will not get executed. So there must be an explicit call for this function to implement this function. So that's why we have to use this function call and then function body. So this function body, just now we have seen the syntax of that function. So that complete implementation of that function should be written outside the main function, right? So if you want to execute that function, so we know that the execution will start only with the main function, right? So that's why we have to give a reference of this function body inside the main function that we call it as a function call. Right. Next, a function declaration. This is also should be written above the main function. So we'll see the uh, simple program so that you will understand this about this function declaration, function call, and the function body. So so one thing to be remembered that this return type. The function name and the number of arguments should be same in all these three in the function declaration function call and the function body right so so this is called a function declaration and in the main function we can avoid the return type so a comma b that will be int a comma b okay so we have to read the values of a and b and then this is called a function call and here int add int x int y this is a function definition see here we have to remember the two types of parameters actual parameters formal parameters right so actual parameters are the parameters or arguments which are written inside the function call inside the function call and the formal parameters are the parameters which are written inside the function body or function definition and the count should be equal the count of actual parameters should be equal to count of formal parameters and <coughs> along with the data types along with the data types so here you observe we are passing two parameters so these are called actual parameters these are called formal parameters so these are two the number of actual parameters are 2 so here the formal parameters are also to be 2 and these two are of integer data type and these two are of integer data type right so this should be equal so this is all about the actual parameters and the formal parameters of this function so whatever the function we are writing so we have to take care about uh, the syntax of the function and then function declaration function call and the function body so if you are not mentioning any return type that will be treated as an integer by default it will be an integer data type so integer return type so if you are not specifying any return type for the function it will be treating as an integer return type right so this is all about the function introduction so hope you understood this one we will see the implementation part of this functions concept so let us move on to the compiler Hello friends, just now we have seen the functions uh, declaration, function call and the function definition. So all the introduction about these functions. Now we will see the implementation part of these functions, how these functions can be implemented as with a simple program. See, so whatever the function it may be, we have to write the three things function declaration, function definition and the function call. So first let us include the header files. So And then we'll include the conio.h 
for clear screen so here we have to write the function de declaration so whatever the declaration and the definition and the function call we have to follow the four things that is a return type void so my function doesn't return any anything so i am giving the return type as void the function name so it can be uh, an identifier so we have to follow the identifier rules for giving the name to an uh, function name and followed by the parameters so how many parameters we have to pass to this particular function so this is called a function declaration and i am writing the main function so inside the main function i am taking the two variables a and b so i am using the clear screen function to clear all the previous inputs so let us take the input for two variables right so c in a similarly we have to take the value of b also right now we are, we are having two variable two variables two values a and b now i have to write the function call so in that function call we can avoid the return type we can directly call with the function name so int a comma b yes so this ends our main function now i have to write the function definition so here again i have to follow the four things the return type the function name and the parameters So I have written yes. So we will save this one. So add dot cpp. So I'm compiling this one successfully compiled. I'm running this one. So ten. And followed by 20. So let us check the output. So addition of two numbers is equal to 30. See, so this is the function declaration. So here we have to follow the four things: return type, uh, name, parameter, and this is. function call here we can avoid the return type and all these things is function definition right this is all about the function definition right so hope you understood guys so if you are having any doubts regarding this one Feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really understood my sessions, like my sessions, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.